Hey everyone, Leo Bond here, back once again for the blog at Best Buy Canada, and this time I've got something that's totally unique, and really it's completely unlike anything that I've ever reviewed here before. It is actually a 10,000 BTU portable propane barbecue that is styled to resemble a Star Wars TIE fighter, so very, very cool. Anyway, we recently had an evening that I thought was a pretty nice night for a cookout, so me and my wife decided to test this thing by making a few chicken fajita skewers. That's chopped chicken breast covered in fajita sauce and skewered with some onion and red pepper chunks. And also a medium sized steak. So of course we filmed the entire process and right now I'm going to show you how that all went as we go about examining this very interesting barbecue. So as the food begins to cook, I'll just go over a few key details about this barbecue, beginning with the fact that it has a 220 square inch cooking surface, and depending on what size you like to make your hamburgers, that's estimated to be good for up to about 9 patties at a time, if you can eat that many. Now I suggest having a couple of guests over for that, because you know if you try to eat all 9 by yourself, you might not feel so hot afterwards. Anyway, the cast iron cooking surface comes in two halves that are rust resistant and that conduct heat very evenly. They're also pretty thick and heavy as you can imagine being cast iron. I'll give you a bit of a closer look at them as well as they can easily be removed for cleaning if necessary. And as you can see, each half also has a backwards Star Wars logo on it that you can try to cook into your steak. Now unfortunately we weren't able to get that to work out. I think we just didn't really get the heat turned up high enough. But honestly though, I was mostly just concerned with having the food turn out anyway. Now this thing is fairly heavy. It weighs about 20 kilograms or just over 44 pounds and it's approved by the Canadian Standards Association and being a typical propane grill it's very easy to find the fuel canisters that will fit it and of course it is cranking out 10,000 BTUs of grilling power so it can definitely get the job done when it comes time for a backyard cookout. Honestly though, as a barbecue, this thing isn't really loaded down with all of the bells and whistles that some really high-end barbecues have. It's just kind of your basic backyard grill that happens to have a Star Wars themed design. And that's really what sets this barbecue apart from other basic backyard grills. It's TIE Fighter design. In fact, it's got the two side trays that can either be stored horizontally for setting your food, utensils, condiments and whatnot on or vertically, which takes up less space when not in use, but also with the trays attached in that vertical or up and down position, the barbecue really starts to take on a more complete TIE Fighter look, because the trays then actually serve as the TIE Fighter's wings, and of course the very front of the barbecue also looks like a TIE Fighter's front window, so it's a pretty cool effect overall, and I certainly would expect for most super serious Star Wars fans, as well as most kids, to be really drawn to this barbecue because of its unique design. Actually, one of the coolest little details of this thing is its temperature gauge, which not only has a picture of a TIE fighter on it, but is also evocative of the sort of gauge that you might find on an aircraft's instrument panel. So a really cool little detail there, and it serves a useful function as well. Now, the food is almost ready, so I've got to start dishing things up here, but I just wanted to say before I wrap up that my wife and I found this barbecue to do all of the basics reasonably well, pretty much as one would expect. There was nothing really spectacular about it as a barbecue, but as a novelty Star Wars barbecue, it certainly is a lot of fun. Now, by the way, if you hadn't noticed, the grilling surface there actually has the Galactic Empire crest cast right into it. So if you're on the side of the Empire, this very well may be the barbecue you're looking for. Anyway, that's all for me for now. More details of this barbecue can be found in my complete written review at Best Buy Canada's blog, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. And as you can see, the food there looks pretty good, so I'm going to hit off and eat. I just want to say thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.